Make sure that you're in the Rockworks Utilities by clicking on the Utilities tab just below the Project Options. Select the Grid, Math, Grid and Grid option. Unlike some of the previous exercises, the input columns don't matter because we're not going to be reading any data from the datasheet during this exercise. Double click on the Model A grid name and select the Leadville top grid that was automatically created during an earlier exercise when we created the stratigraphy model. Do the same for Model B by selecting the Leadville base grid. Enter Leadville underscore LS underscore isopac dot RWGRD for the output grid name. Click the two dimensional grid diagram options button. Turn off everything except for the colored intervals and the border. Click the process button. After a few seconds, a color coded isopac of the Leadville limestone will appear. We're not going to spend any time making this map pretty because our real goal was to create the numerical grid model upon which the diagram is based and that's the leadville underscore ls underscore isopac dot rwgrd file which we'll be using within the next three exercises. Let's spend a minute describing what we just did. The top and base grids consists of cells that define the interpolated elevations at the cell midpoints. The grid subtraction simply subtracted each base grid cell from the corresponding top grid cell in order to compute the thickness at each cell midpoint. 